Welcome to One Word TV. I am your presenter, Pastor Florence Minor. I'm broadcasting live all the way from Minnesota, and this is a production of One Word Digital Media, which is situated in Seattle, Washington. That is the power of technology. You can imagine uh, many miles far away from Seattle, yes, yet we can be able to communicate with you. You could be in Africa, you could be in Saudi Arabia, you could be in India, wherever, and all those places I'm mentioning, I have brethren there uh, whom we connect through the media. What a mighty God we serve. Today is Thanksgiving. The title of my message will be, Be Old Wishing You a Happy Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving in America is a big deal. Turkeys are in trouble. Stores have booms. They, they have deals. Oh, turkeys go like hot cake. I want to tell you the apple pie, the pies go very quickly. Oh, we had the Thanksgiving pie Sunday last, last week in my church and I enjoyed it too. But be old the Thanksgiving. I want you to remember something. That it is God who brought, have brought you where you are. Let's pray. Father, in Jesus' name, may this thanksgiving be a different one in our lives and the way we take things because you've given us so much. Help us, King of Kings, to open up the eyes and the, uh, our ears of, uh, of, our, of our understanding, O oh God that we may perceive thanksgiving in a very different way that will praise you in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. My verses of reverence will be from the book of Deuteronomy chapter 6. I would encourage you to read the entire chapter and I'll be covering it life phase or later on after this. But I felt for my friends who are not on Facebook, let me not deny them these particular blessings of thanksgiving. I'm going to start from verse 10 and it says, So, so it shall be when the Lord your God brings you into the land which he swore to your fathers, to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, to give you raj and beautiful cities which you did not build, houses full of all good things which you did not fill, he earned out wells which you did not dig, vineyards and olives trees which you did not plant, when you have eaten and are full. Not fast all. Then... Be where, lest you forget the Lord who brought you out of the land of Egypt from the house of bondage. You shall fear the Lord your God and serve him and shall take oaths in his name. You shall not go after other gods, the gods of the peoples who are all around you. For the Lord your God is a jealous God among you. Lest the anger of the Lord your God be aroused against you and destroy you from the face of the other. May the Lord bless his word. I read up to verse 15 from New King James Version. We are here today. By the way, it is good to remind all Americans that America is a land of immigrants from all over. And so we need to get these words very well. That uh, the Lord brought you from where you came from uh, and has brought you to this place, uh, has brought you to this time. Uh, you can call him Ebenezer. Be careful lest you forget the Lord. And for those who are not in America, where God has made you rich, you can call him Ebenezer and you need to know that far it is the Lord that has brought you. Remember those days you used to go to school without shoes. Tell a kid to get day to go to school without shoes or maybe without, oh God, the fancy shoes. You'll be in trouble. They'll be thinking you are neglecting them. May God help us not to forget where we have come from. For those who are from the other part of the world where I've come from, remember those days that, that you did not have a shower. You used to shower in a basin. You'd put the water in a basin and you're using your hands just to draw at the back, at your back. Let us not forget where God has taken us from. Remember the time that you had to run for a matatu. That is a public means for those who cannot understand that. So that you can be able to cut, to, to get that bus or matatu wherever you are going so you are not ready. Remember that you would wait until the, the, the car is full so that you can stand up and hang on that bar on top of the 
inside the car so that inside the public means so that you could pay half the price instead of 20 shillings you could pay 10 shillings let us not forget where god has gotten us from remember when you used to sleep in those houses that were semi-permanent the thatched houses by the way i have done that oh i know i know it so may God help us not to forget where we have come from. Even though I'm in America and today is Thanksgiving, for one, I am being paid and I'm not working. There is a special code that you, you crock in and you are paid and you are not working. No, do not be mm, that person who forget. And then you say, this is my money. You are being paid today for free. So even if you are to give the whole of this day's pay, to somebody god has given it for you free i'll be paid and i've not i'm not working don't forget the lord and say it is you who have gotten yourself where you have reached the Israelites were told, after you go to that land, stay in the cities that you never built, in houses you never laid foundations, and you take you eat the fruits of trees you never planted. They were warned not to forget the Lord. And today, as it is Thanksgiving, I know many people will be assembling with the friends and with the families. Others are traveling to go and be together with their friends and families. Let us not make merry and forget who the Lord is is in our life as you eat that pie as you eat that turkey as you eat whatever you'll be eating all kinds of good food do not forget the lord we can easily forget the lord and think oh i have to drive it is my car it is not your car it is god who has given you the strength to work and you buy that car you are sleeping in a house and say this is my house it is god who has given you that house you have good clothing like the one i have for sure it is good. I cannot brag about and say, oh, I this is mine. This is God who has given me even the eyes to see that the, these colors are coded well. And they match my brother and my sister. Let us not forget the Lord on this dance giving. And I feel like I can continue and continue. I want to tell you there are many things that we look to. And expecting that is when we are going to tell God thank you. And we forget the minor things. One of the minor things I want to remind you. You are breathing. You are inhaling and exhaling. You are doing and out. That's by itself is a good reason for you to be grateful to God. Why? There are people right now, they are breathing through the life-sustaining machines. They are being put on life machines, waiting for their dear ones to see them the last time. And you tell me, you think you have reached this far by your strength? God forbid. It is the Lord that has brought you this far. For those who came from our other part of the world and you are here, you are the past people who should be showing people how to be grateful to God and tell God, I thank you, Jesus. This far, it is you. You went, applied for visa, you went to the embassy, you did not know what to expect, and you are there and you're saying, God, remember me. Others were even going to Karuna Forest to pray and said, if I go to America, if God, you grant me the chance to go to america i will serve you i'll be giving 10 percent and here you are you go to your account you think it's your account it is not because when the time comes all oh, the inheritance you can carry is three by six that coffin it may be fancy one but you are not there to see it it is good we thank god as long as we have the breath may this thanksgiving be more than merry making be more than meeting with friends be more than taking that fright and going to meet with your friends and now we can sing and say he has done so much for me and i cannot tell it all i cannot tell it all i cannot tell it all he has done so much for me and i cannot tell it all he has done so much for me I'm a tender majabu, nasi wezi kuweleza.
Siwezi kueleza mimi Siwezi kueleza Hame fanya majabu Na siwezi kueleza Hame fanya majabu Nye kita magega Nyadigeo tago taridia Dio tago taridia Die hotago tare dia die kete magega nia die hotago tare dia ne kete magega nia he has done so much for you and you cannot tell it all you cannot tell it all you cannot tell it all he has done done so much for you and you cannot tell it all he has done so much for you he will do so much for us and we cannot tell it all we cannot tell it all we cannot tell it all he will do so much for us and we cannot tell it all he will do so much for us he has done he will do so much that we cannot tell it all so my brother my sister be careful rest you forget the lord I want to repeat that first all. Then beware, lest you forget the Lord who brought you out of the land of Egypt from the house of bondage. You, sh first 13, you shall fear the Lord your God and serve him. Yes. Like never before. That's why I serve God. Like I'm not going to leave the next minute because... When I remember where God has taken me from, I just feel like serving the Lord. Yes. Yes. Mm. May the Lord bless you. Father, in Jesus' name, help us this Thanksgiving make a difference in our life the way we see things. Be owed the merrymaking that we can give you all our praise, all our thanksgiving, and our life to serve you. In Jesus' name, amen. You are there. You have never trusted the Lord in a personal way and give him your life. Today is the best day ever. Thanksgiving day. Do you want to say this prayer after me? Lord Jesus, I come before you. Thank you for giving me life. Thank you for the breath of life. I accept you to be my Lord and Savior. Write my name in the book of life and give me a desire to grow spiritually in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. If you have prayed that prayer, you've been transformed. The old is gone and the new has come. Now start walking in the newness of life. Look for a church nearby where you live that teaches the full gospel without compromise for your spiritual growth. When you go there, desire to know the Lord more, to serve the Lord more, not to forget the Lord, to know it is him that has brought you this far. God bless you. Happy Thanksgiving. And be all the merrymaking, be all the visiting with the friends. Remember to thank God. Remember to serve the Lord. Remember to declare of the goodness of the Lord. Remember to stay humble, knowing that you have nothing of yourself. God bless you. This is your home for spiritual guidance, your voice of hope. You can continue to listen to this message and other messages by different anointed servants of God from all of our by dialing 605-781-3266. You can also search One Word Miracle Radio. That way, using your smartphone, download the app One Word Digital Media. You'll be blessed 366 days 24-7 without pay. When you are blessed, be a blessing to other people by sharing. Also remember to subscribe to our channel of Celebrate Your Moment with Joy and continue praying for this ministry. Next Saturday, December 7, 3 p.m. to 6.30 p.m. Celebrate Your Moment with Joy is hosting a meeting just to encourage each other to stay strong and to be courageous. And the reference verse is Joshua 1, verse 7. You don't want to miss. It's going to be in my home church. Grace Fellowship, Brooklyn Park, Minnesota, upstairs. See you there. God bless you.